YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. So y'all know I've been gone for like two or three weeks. Don't mind me, I'm trying to get back into it. I've been sick like two weeks, for two weeks I've been sick. So I'm trying to get back on the, you know, get back on here and post again. So as y'all can see by that title and by that thumbnail, today I'm gonna be doing a back to school video. I'm sorry. Oh. A little short story about me. I graduated from college. I moved to college and I went to college for two years. So I know everything that you will pretty much need for college. You might not use everything, but it's pretty much a good thing to have everything prepared before you even go to college, especially if you're thinking about moving to the dorms and everything or up to university it's very important for you to have all the items that you need before school even start so with that being said let's get straight into the video so first off i have this little pencil pouch and inside it um i have like a bunch of these pencils in here I type these type of pencils you gonna have to buy your own sharpener and stuff like that so, I mean, if you prefer to do that, that's you can. But with me, I like to use mechanical pencils because you can fill them up if you want to. You can buy extra refills. And then um, you can, you got USBs right here. And you don't have to sharpen it. It is, you know. So, I got a whole box of those. But I keep extras inside of here. And then I'll also show y'all where I keep extras at too. So, next inside my little what do i call this my little pencil pouch i have post-it notes and these are small ones that you will need for like um what's it called you'll need these for your college textbooks so like if you wanted to just like mark something real fast if the teacher talking you taking notes you want to mark something real fast you might want to you know bookmark it make sure where you left off like okay i bookmarked this i can take notes on this or whatever so you got that and of course big post-it notes which i don't have that right now um and then i got a bunch of highlighters y'all like a bunch i got different colors so i can stay organized i got pink pink my favorite color so and then i have white out if you wanted to blank out something in your paper or whatever that you write you're making a mistake use that um and then i got a bunch of pen pens in here got different color pens because some teachers are picky with what color pens that y'all you, you want to use it depends on what kind of college you go to the college i went to um they're not that picky which will go whatever pens i use so i use these these are here or i got a special this is my special pen it has different colors so i use this too so that's my little pencil pouch so side items I keep with me are note cards, which I don't, I personally don't like note cards, um, but it's a very helpful studying tool. So get you some of those if you like being organized like me. I'm so organized. If you move to a dorm and you want to like decorate stuff in your dorm or whatever, I have, I bought thumbtacks. And thumbtacks are really helpful because some dorms, they don't like, they don't like it when you, you know, put tape on the walls or whatever, because you're going to have to pay for that. Um, you have to pay for it when you move out. So thumbtacks are really helpful because it just leaves a small prick in the wall, a small hole, and it don't leave that much damage. So um, thumbtacks are the way to go. And then tape, I use, uh, what do I use tape for? I don't really know. I just got tape just in case. And a planner. And I like to stay organized of what I use in class and stuff like that. And like whenever I had, because I had a lot of classes I took. So whenever I had like so, so many classes or so much homework to do, I would just write it down what class I had and stuff like that. And yeah, it just helps me stay organized. It's pretty. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty. So, yeah. This small little notebook, it's not really a notebook, it's like a notepad or whatever. Um, 
And I just like, I can keep notes in here too if I needed to. Um, so yeah, I have this with me all the time. Hold up, hold up, let me get another one. Let me get another one. Of course, if you have like a big textbook or whatever, you will need binders. You will need binders if you have a big textbook. Um, because if you have big, thick textbooks like I did or like I do now, you're going to need like the big rings, three-inch rings. Or you can do the two-inch rings. It doesn't really matter. But if you're a note-taker like me, I do the super big notebooks, the five subject. They got folders in it. And it's very helpful because you can use... You can use, you can do five classes in here, which I don't do that. I usually do like two classes in one five subject, five subject notebook because it's a lot of note taking in my classes. So I need extra notebooks. Or you can go the short route and get a small one, but you can keep, but you're going to have to keep buying extra notebooks. Um, just depending on what type of class you got. Uh, I mean, like the only class I can think about that will require a small, like a small notebook you want me to take notes in is history, maybe course you got the big thick erasers in case you're taking a heavy heavy math class Ooh, you got the school books so and then usually they have a code on it or whatever but these books y'all are huge this is my book right here this is how big this book this is why i got this big old binder because this book is huge i, I got all kind of books from school this year <sighs> for college you're gonna need some um quick study charts so i got like a few of these that it says the subject that i'm taking and then it has like all kind of helpful stuff on there to help me so colleges have that you might want to start getting that because whoo college is not easy y'all but you can do it i'm telling you you can do it so, lastly you got the computer and you know, you need, it doesn't really matter what type of computer you, you have, but you need the best computer possible because the best will, or this, the best is like less, the best is like, the best is less likely to break down while you're in college. So I'll suggest you guys get, you know, the best type of computer you need a computer for college for sure but just get you know a good good computer to use because if you get some old broke down computer and it's gonna break down within two months while you're in college you are stuck especially if you're using stuff online all the time and that in different classes you need a computer for real some small stuff i have in my bag it's like i have like breakfast i have like granola bar in here uh, i have of course perfume because i'll be needing extra stuff perfume from bath and body works you know i gotta use the best you know what i'm saying bath and body works can y'all see that maybe i don't know i have my airpods i gotta have these you know with me at all times and if i forget those then i have another extra pair of headphones in my bag um small miscellaneous stuff heads up if you take a biology science class make sure you got goggles because you don't know what type of dangerous stuff you're gonna be doing in that class so make sure you got these um small stuff my hand sanitizer to be safe, especially with COVID still going around. You're gonna need some hand sanitizer. And then I got lip balm. I got my body lotion, right? Yeah, my body lotion. So that's pretty much it for this video. Like, as far as like um college school supplies. You don't need a ton of stuff, but you have to make sure you have all of it before school starts because 
but school start is gonna be so you gotta make sure you have all this stuff together you know what i'm saying so that's pretty much it for my video i'm sorry once again for i'm sorry for being gone for so long it hasn't been that long but still um please comment down below what type of videos y'all want to see i might be doing um a sheen and fashion noble haul later on i'm not sure when that's gonna be but later on and i might be doing like a night routine video morning routine and i might start doing more vlogs and stuff so and i might do an updated q a because a lot of stuff has changed since i started my, my youtube channel so if y'all want to see any of those type of videos please comment down below what you guys want to see and i'll definitely do that thank you guys for supporting me all of you guys that are if you have not subscribed to the channel subscribe don't forget to do that bell okay thank you see you later